My first guest uh, burst into public attention when she played opposite Peter Strauss as Senator Rudy Jordash's lawyer girlfriend in the acclaimed miniseries Rich Man Poor Man. As she has gone on to uh, star in one of the current hit nighttime soap operas uh, called Falcon Crest. Here is the lovely Susan Sullivan. I don't use the term lightly. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, you're a very pretty lady. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true you you uh, initially were a little in doubt when that offer came along? They wanted you to the Falcon Crest. Oh, the offer. Falcon Crest uh, show. Yeah, when it first came up, I had just come off of It's a Living, which was not you know one of the greater experiences of my of my career. We'll talk about uh, that in a well, moment too. Okay. Um, and uh, this offer came, and I read the script, and I had these two blankety blank old kids. And I went, I had just come from a show where my kids were, this is show business, my kids were seven and eight, and now they were 18 and 19. I went, Whoops, you're aging you're me much, that too, old. much too rapidly. Uh, plus this season, I become a grandmother. It's, it's giving me cardiac arrest. At any rate, so I read the script and I went, oh, you know, this is, this, I'm not too, anyway, I passed on it and, uh, and then it came back around again. And at that point, it was on after Dallas. I mean, you'd have to be, Whoops. you'd have to be either deeply secure or a real schlemiel to, uh, yeah, to turn that if, down. If you can have anything, you could put a test pattern on after Dallas and get about a 30 share. <sighs> you think? I think so. No, I well, think, I think let me that's put it, let probably me true for the first few for yeah. the first few times. But it has out, to have some substance for it to hang in. Yeah, uh, because really, people now, are quite capable of changing. If I may come back to it's a living for a moment. Yeah. You sounded disenchanted with that, but it was a living at the time, right? Yes. Yes. Well, that was a show where, uh, again, I had turned it? that show down because uh, it, the part was the part of, uh, of a waitress, which was uh, fine and good. And I said to the producers that I really did not think the audience, which I think is essential on these kind of uh, shows, weekly shows, that the audience be able to identify with you as the character. And I don't think they will. And uh, uh, sure enough, after we had done, uh, however, 13, 14 of them, they decided that the audience wasn't identifying with me as the character. By that time, I thought I was doing a very good job. I was very <laughs> hurt. Uh, but anyway, it all, you see, you see how destiny is. Do yes. not question the gods. They know what they're doing. That's right. And you, is that truly your outlook or is that something you're just uh, today saying to it make is. conversation? Today it is. That because is. It, it, it certainly seems to be that way. Yeah, I, it really is my, my philosophy. It sounds a little California lotus land, doesn't it? But, yes, uh, it does. Yeah. It sounds like, but I know something of your background and you started on the Broadway stage, uh -huh. doing Broadway, off-Broadway and everything. You probably have that uppermost in the back of your mind all the time you're doing even a successful show like Falcon. To Chris. go back to you're the theater? You're probably thinking of a play. You New York people have a way of just kind of sneaking back, whether it's to recharge the batteries or what, whatever. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's a whole good. different... It's good for you. I too. think everybody needs to do that, yeah. and, you know, to, to have as many different... Uh, options in their life as uh, as possible. Now in Falcon Crest you are married to uh, a gentleman who was on the show recently, Robert Foxworth, right. who plays the part of a, a what's his name? Chase Giuberti. Chase Giuberti. I've like? always wanted to be married to an Italian. I love Why? Italian men. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but I just said something rep very they kind of... They have that reputation um, of not being, you know... Yes, yes, what? Um, Oh, he just put faithful, his foot into this one. Faithful husbands. Really, they do? Probably. That's probably true. I There's went something to very passionate and, uh, about them. They've had a lot of problems. Yeah, I like I Jewish I'm men too. Get no end of mail on that. You do? Yeah, I have a nice uh, um, a Jewish. Uh, there's that humor, that Hamish oh, quality, that terrific humor wonderful. There. Yeah. It's the Irish men, I guess, I can't seem to get along with. <laughs> well, too bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the Falcon so Crest. What's going to happen to your character? Oh, gosh, a lot of things. She goes through a lot of different uh, changes, which I'm delighted about. I was concerned. Sometimes what happens with mothers is that when you play a mother, they're there supporting the family and their kids, and, and they don't get to have a, a distinct life yeah. and a storyline of their own. But uh, um, because uh, I have to give myself a little pat for this, I ask that she be a writer and that she have something that be her own, which I think is real important for women to have, something that they do that's theirs that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the family. So that's taking her off on a on a storyline of her own. Uh, have you been to Italy? Yes. You Avanti. Said you, yeah, you said that name. <laughs> Gilberti. 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 Hey, that's a wonderful country. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love uh, 
I love the people because uh, when I was there, my youngest daughter was very small, and they go out of their way with children to be gentle and kind and, mm -hmm. and giving to them. And, and they're, so, them. they're so kissy and holdy and yeah. passionate. The Jewish people are the same way. Same way. Earthy. Exactly. Ugh. All of the nighttime soap opera things have such top ratings. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? What do well, you... Yeah, the cycles of this business, too. Do you think it's a cycle? I, I suspect it probably is. I, I hope it'll last for a while. Oh, I think it's going to be around a long while. And the, the, the interesting thing is that they've caught on all over the world. Uh-huh. Oh, because I think they're maybe even more popular in Europe. How many foreign countries are you in? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I really you must not be sure. many. Oh, we're in London and Belgium and um, and going to South Africa. Is that exciting? Uh, yeah, it's fascinating. It doesn't it, uh, it doesn't quite penetrate my noggin yet. It but will I, when you, you get know, off when you get off a plane at, at Heathrow Airport and people start. Well, this rather attractive uh, South African man was on the plane coming back from New York last week, and uh, and it was nice. He was oh, charming. That's wonderful, and he of course knew you from television. Mm -hmm. The telly, as they the call telly. it. There. Now you're looking for uh, a play. Besides acting on Falcon Crest, I'm told, right? Yeah, I think I think what what that you know it's like not having orange juice. You know, if you don't have orange juice for six months, how your body really kind of longs Craves. for it. Your system yes. needs to be, and and television is so fast. You know, you you learn your lines and you do the scene and it's over with and it's dropped. Whereas a play, you rehearse and you delve and you do. And because all of the that. magnitude of television, it just gobbles up material. And, yes, and, and actors. And actors. And, 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 and when you get on a play, you just play to that number of people in the theater each mm -hmm. night and it's every night it's different and despite where you think the laughs are or whatever they're different mm -hmm. always and it's that part of it's challenging I know you have to leave us, Susan. I'm sorry to have to tell everyone this, that. This is Where are you over. going? I was just starting to have a very Where good time you? here, Well, Mike. stick around oh, then. Okay. If you don't have to leave, stay with us, okay? We're coming right back with uh, young Valerie Bertinelli from One Day at a Time.